Welcome to Race Face TV and this episode of Race Face Driver Updates. We are glad you could join us this evening, so let's get started. First, we look in on our only Race Face Driver seeing action over the weekend, and that was Jesse Love, who is back on the pavement for the first time in almost two months, pulled into Madeira Speedway for the Spears Southwest Tour Series 125 on Saturday. Jesse was in the top 10 all day in practice, but got an early draw in qualifying right after the track got oiled down from a legend car that blew an engine, resulting in slick conditions in a 14th place qualifying effort. Jesse took his number 38 5150 Mobile One Toyota towards the front in a race that went green from lap 20 all the way to the end and was able to bring home his second top 10 finish in a row in ninth place. Up next for Jesse, back to the Power Eye National Midget Series at Jacksonville Speedway this Friday and Saturday. Now let's take a look at our Race Face Next drivers, starting at El Paso County Raceway in the now 600 micro sprints, where we find three of our Race Face Next drivers. Let's start off with Justice Sokol, who for the first time this year had the restrictors taken off of his 600 micro sprint and it didn't take the lawman long to adjust to the extra power. Justice started fourth and finished first in his heat race, and he started fifth and brought home a podium finish in third in the A-Main. Justice finished the season eighth in the now 600 micro sprint mile high region championship. Keep in mind he ran the entire season with a restricted car racing against non-restricted cars. Up next for Justice, Port City Raceway in Tulsa, Oklahoma on Friday and Saturday. Older brother Kobe Sokol was also at El Paso County Raceway for the season ending now 600 mile high region finale. Kobe started in his heat race in fifth and drove to the front where he stayed to bring home the win. In the A main, he started sixth but had the same results parking his 600 micro sprint in victory lane for the first non-winged win of the year. Colby finished second in points in the now 600 mile high region championship, not bad for a rookie and someone that had not raced on dirt until this year. Colby will also be at Port City Raceway this weekend. Cassidy Hines also saw action at El Paso County Raceway in her 600 micro sprint, but did not have the weekend she was hoping for. It started in qualifying when the car lost power and she could not complete her lap and that problem continued throughout the night, keeping her from finishing the A-Main. Cassidy finished the season ninth in the now 600 micro sprint mile high region championship in her first year of competition. Up next for Cassidy, Snap-on Tools Pro Trucks at Colorado National Speedway on October 5th. Jake Bowman was back in his INEX legend car at Madeira Speedway on Saturday. Jake qualified second and then won in the heat race, but had to start ninth in the A-Main due to the invert. Jake took the green and started his march towards the front and took the lead on lap 10. Jake led the next 17 laps till a yellow came out for a car that had spun. On the restart, he tried to hold off the pro driver, but had to fall into second and stay there for the remaining eight laps, finishing second. That is an impressive run for the young 12-year-old in a young Lions car racing pro cars and drivers more than twice his age. Up next for Jake Jr. Late Model Championship Weekend at Madeira Speedway on October 5th. Race Face Next driver William Cox was back in the INEX Legend car on Friday at Wake County Speedway where he dominated the night by qualifying P1 and then parked his number 29B Farbo Motorsports car in victory lane. Up next for Will Championship Night at Anderson Speedway on Friday, then back there on Saturday night for more legend car racing. Haley Constance was at Deming Speedway on Friday for the Les Schwab Tire Center Championship Night in her 600 micro sprint. Haley qualified sixth and then finished fourth in her heat race. Haley started eighth in the 25 lap A main and was a girl on a mission, moving into the fourth place position on lap 22. When she tried passing for third, she got tangled up with a lapped car, sending her on a wild ride, flipping down the front stretch, ending her night. The good news is she's okay and ready for the winter series to get started. Minnie Tyrell was not in the race car at the track, but that didn't keep him out of the car. 
On Saturday, Team Tyrell took to the streets in Manassas, Virginia, along with the police and fire department for nine-year-old Ethan Dixon's Friends of Jacqueline adoption. He is now the newest Mini Tyrell racing team member and was able to ride in the race car with Mini to the Audubon Indoor Speedway, where Ethan, Mini, police, and firemen all participated in a little go-karting. Ethan got to ride in a police car, became a police officer for the day, was given a key to the city by the mayor, interviewed by the local news, and much more. What a special day for a young warrior that is battling leukemia. Great job, Minnie, and everyone that participated in this special event. To learn more, visit minityrellracing.com, then click on Racing for a Cause. Race face drivers that did not race last weekend, but will see action this weekend include Sam Mayer, who will be at Dover International Speedway for the final NASCAR k and Pro Series East race of the year on Friday, then head to Indy for Saturday's ARCA Series race at Lucas Oil Raceway. Joe Valento will be at Lacrosse Speedway for the Midwest Truck Series race on Saturday. Bryce Bazanson will be at the Yakima Speedway for the Fall Classic on Sunday. Grant Thompson will be at Madeira Speedway for the 5150 Junior Late Model Series. This is the event that Grant won by winning the Junior Late Model Challenge Camp. Joey East will be trying to wrap up the 2019 5150 Junior Late Model Championship at Madeira Speedway on Saturday night. That's it for this week's Race Face Driver updates. And remember, if you've missed any of our shows, you can get caught up at raceface.tv on demand. Don't miss Race Face Spotlight on Thursdays at 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, this week featuring Lucas Oil Now 600 Micro Sprint Driver Justice Sokol. As always, we encourage you to support local racing in your communities. Don't forget to follow us on social media. We will be back with you next week with more from your favorite race face drivers. So get out there, have a great race week. I'm Brittany Lung. Thanks for watching.